Hey guys, go check out my new sponsor at instantmaddencoins.com. They sell coins on all platforms and you won't get instant delivery anywhere else. Use my code RJ at checkout for 10%. This is the only way we know to go. Squad up, never roll alone. And we go right on forever. Yo, what is going on guys? It's Relic here, and today, Swag and I are gonna be doing a troll draft on each other's account. This is gonna be a two-part video. The first part is us gonna be drafting the teams, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna draft the most trolly teams possible, but we have a set list of players we need to draft, and you guys are seeing that list on the screen right now. I'm not gonna read through it all, I'll read through it as I buy the players, but yeah, if we did the if we went head to head to each other and drafted the players in one video, it'd be like an hour long video and I don't want to have an hour long video. So we're going to split it up into two sections. This part we're just going to be drafting our teams. So I'm just going to be winging it. I don't have a list of players that, you know, I want to draft with the worst stats and stuff. But we're about to find out what my game plan is here. So I think I'm going to start out with probably the best player that I'm going to be buying, and that's going to be the Legend player. And for the Legend player, I'm pro I'm going to be finding a Legend fullback, because the fullback is probably, actually, and by the way, we're only doing offense and defense, no special teams, but, um, you know what, I'm going to go with a Legend fullback, because that's probably going to be the most least used position for a Legend position. Alright, picking up Max Strong here, 92 fullback. 125k his stats are pretty good but again it's a fullback it's not going to be as useful as any other legend position there is so that's where we're going to pick him up the next best player we're going to get is an award winner so i'm going to pick swag up a legend i mean award winner tight end here and looks like cheapest up is 125k so we're going to pick him up right there now what do we need we need a flashback as well let's go pick up a flashback player you know what, yeah, I'm gonna pick up that tight end Martellus Bennett because he's really slow, all he can do is block. I might just aim for his slow receivers, I might just try to find the slowest receivers that I could possibly find out there. Lowest appears for 99k, we'll pick him up right there. So now we are gonna get a signature player. So let's go pick up um, what is, Dan Scuda for his linebacker. Looks like here's one up for 219k, we'll pick him up right there. Now, what should we get? We're also going to need a, an, an elite game changer, so... Alright, I'm going to get Swag and Amari Cooper. Minus 1xl, plus 2 catch. That's a pretty bad trade-off, plus his stats are also not that good, so... I'm going to pick him up, maybe for 50k, we'll see how much... Yeah, 50k, perfect. Yeah, 88 speed, 88 XL, 94 agility is good, but minus 1 XL, it's gonna kill his team. Now what do we need? We also, we're gonna get an elite, let's get an elite team hero here. Yeah, we're gonna get Kruger for our team hero. Here we go, picking up Kruger for 80k, plus 1 strength, but look at those stats, 76 speed, 65 man, 76 zone. Wow, that's... That's terrible here. So now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go pick up a silver quarterback for him. And you know what? I'm going to be nice. I know Swag's a huge Jimmy Garoppolo fan. He's also a silver in this game. So let's pick up Jimmy Garoppolo right here for him. Swag's going to be happy when he sees this on his team. Wow, he's so good. There are none for 750 coins. So yeah, let's just pick up a Jimmy Garoppolo right here. I got to save those 50 coins, man. Here we go, Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, what shall we get? Let's get a X-Factor player. Oh, I know exactly what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get Julius Peppers right here. 75 speed, 58 man coverage. His boosted stat is awareness. That's embarrassing, dude. This guy is so trash. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him right here. Let's go find some most beard players. All right, here we go. Most beard. The only three most beard players up are these three. Uh, you know, I don't really have a choice here, so... I might have to just pick up this Eric Decker, because we have to draft this, and there are no other most beard players up. So, I mean, I guess we're gonna have to bite the bullet, buy Eric Decker for 150k. So now let's get a most feared player now. Most feared, most beard. I'm gonna get a Joe Staley here. 
I'm gonna pick up Joe Staley for swag. Maybe he's gonna go for 100k. This is the least effective, um, most feared player that I could get. So 60k. All right, all right. 75 speed. Um, average stats. Nothing too special. Let's go buy a player up now. Here, so I'm just gonna get a Doug free here for 45,000 coins. All right. Uh, let's. I don't want to go filter some more. So let's just get this for 40,000. Now, what should we get? Let's get an MVP player now. Picking up a key picks for 97k, 65 speed. That's not gonna challenge my QB at all when I'm throwing. Like, that's that's gonna be terrible. <laughs> Looking for some slow defensive end. So now, what do we need? We need. Let's go pick up some. Let's go pick up a team for the week elite right here. So yeah, we're gonna pick up Trey Flowers here for 50k. All right, now let's go buy a football outsiders elite. There are a whole lot of football outsiders elites out there. All right, picking up Jordan Hicks here for 27.5k. Now let's go grab ourselves an elite BCA player. 89 speed, 87 man, not very good man. So let's just pick him up. 75 tackle, he can't tackle. So yeah, let's go update our lineup real quick. Best lineup. And okay, okay we build an 80 overall offense. Huh? All right, so this is our offense. Let's... Oh, well, that Deion Sanders got plugged in. This is the Marcus where isn't supposed to be, and I should have sold him before I started this. And this Larry Wilson is also not supposed to be here. Um, yeah. But, yeah, this is the his team so far. We need to get ourselves some safeties and a defensive back. And I'm actually going to get a gold base safety for his free safety. Alright, here we go. We're going to get Antrell Roll with 81 speed, 59 agility, 79 XL, 82 zone. He has higher zone than other safeties, but his speed is really, really the bad part of it. So now let's go grab ourselves. What do we need here? We need a base bronze, and I need to get a bronze halfback for swag. So let's just buy him 80 speed. There we go. Let's actually finish our offense up here. So we're going to put him right here, Glenn Winston. Now we need a wide receiver. And what have we not gotten? We need an elite... We just need a base elite, so I'm actually going to get a base elite wide receiver here. So we're going to get Fitzgerald. He is pretty tall, but it doesn't matter if you're going to run like really that slow. Like, it doesn't matter. So yeah, we're going to pick up Larry Fitzgerald here. Now we have to finish up our offensive line. So what, are we, what have we not gotten yet? We haven't gotten a league versus league elite. We haven't gotten a veteran journeyman elite. Let's actually go find a journeyman elite for the offensive line here. I'm gonna pick up Evan Mathis for one of the offensive guards just because of his lack of um what's it called pass block. He has 78 pass blocks, so that's why we're gonna pick him up here. Let's go buy an elite veteran player now. Okay, we're gonna get uh Nick Mangold because he has bad pass block. So and I see 75k. Alright. I think I'm gonna get an elite defensive tackle league versus league player here. 100k Kyle Williams, Gino Atkins, and Eddie Goldman. Ooh, 65 speed. But yeah, we're gonna get Kyle Williams right here. Right, so this is our offense so far. We still. Oh, crap. I need to put Jimmy Garoppolo here. Alright, yeah, that's our offense. Let's take a look at her. Oh, no, no. We actually have to put one more thing. Sorry, guys. Fitzgerald and. Oh, my God. I actually. I made a rookie mistake. I got. I got an extra wide receiver. And I already have two wide receivers, so um, that's kind of bad. But we need to keep Eric Decker because of the fact that he's most beer. So I'm going to have to get another elite game changer in a sec here. Let's go update. We're going to put the gold and trail roll right there. Put a defensive tackle right there. And is that all we got? Yeah, that's all we got. So yeah, this is what the squad. We need to buy another offensive guard. And we need to get an offensive guard, a few more cornerbacks and safeties, a defensive tackle, and we're good. Alright, let's go buy an elite Thanksgiving player right here. And his stats, 91 speed is really good, but I think I'm just going to put him in the nickel. Because that's going to be a, a useless place for him to play in anyway. So, yeah, we're going to put him in the nickel. Adrian Amos right here. 80 overall team, mm -hmm. spicy. Alright, we need safety, cornerback, defensive tackle, and another safety. 
Let's actually go quickly pick up an offensive guard. All right, we need a, another game changer elite because I kind of screwed up there. So let's go look for a game changer elite. All right, here we're going to get Adam Jones. He does give plus two man, but his stats by himself are pretty bad. Like, bruh, 84 speed. 84 speed is really bad. So I'm fine with him giving a plus two man boost. I'll just, I'll take that. But now what are we going to need? We've got, I'm just looking through my list right here. We need three random elites. So let's go buy just some base elites here. So one of the elites I'm going to get is Kurt Coleman. He is one of the worst elite safeties out there with 79 agility, 86 speed, uh, and average coverage. So we're going to pick him up right here. We need two more random elites. We are going to get Brandon Williams at defensive tackle here. It seems like the football outsiders elites are the crappiest ones. Honestly, though, seems like, I mean, maybe there's a reason that they're really pullable because their stats are, are not that good. So we're going to go pick them up for 40,000 coins here. We've spent about 2 mil so far on the troll squad. Now we just need one safety. All right, for our last random elite, we're going to get Malcolm Jenkins just because he has 83 speed, which is lower than average. So we're going to put him here at our dime position which covers the tight end and we're gonna put our brandon williams here at defensive tackle right here all right so this is our completed defense let's look at look at our offense here's our offense oh we we missed a offensive guard that's what we need so let's take a little look at our list here what have we not gotten all right guys the one thing that we haven't gotten is the elite headliners so I think we're actually gonna have to do some working around here because I don't think there's an elite headliner that's an offensive guard, right? Okay guys, for our headliner, we're gonna get this Shazor Everett and then we're gonna have to buy an, a normal elite offensive guard here. So so yeah, 30k, Brandon Scarif. In total, we spent 2 million coins on this troll squad. We're gonna put him right here and we're gonna replace this Malcolm Jenkins in the corner with the Shazor Everett. So here's the completed squad, guys. I got a silver Jimmy Garoppolo, which is going to make him very happy when he sees it. A bronze halfback with 80 speed. And some pretty slow wide receiver, except Eric Decker. I had to buy him because there's not many most beards. But yeah, offensive line is really bad with pass blocking. The main thing that I'm doing here. Bad pass blocking, bad QB. Well, I mean, you know, swag thinks Jimmy G's the GOAT. But stats-wise, probably not. But we'll see what he can do with really bad. He's going to have to run it. And his run game is really bad with his halfback too. So it's going to be hard for him. And for the defense, this is going to be a really easy defense to step up against. Because once again, we got Julius Peppers here. I'm actually going to put him to an outside linebacker. But we got the probably the worst linebacking core in the history of ever. The slowest linebacking core for sure. That's for sure. Look at this. 75 speed. Like you don't, you don't get any worse than that. 77 speed but yeah i think this is going to be a really easy defense to play against and i'd say the one position that i'm worried about is this eric decker with 87 speed 90 xl he's probably his best guy but other than that i think we drafted a pretty pretty bad team so yeah guys that's going to be my draft swags and coming with this draft this is going to be a relatively long video but relic out.